it's, uh, it's tough stuff. That was the last piece that popped out. That was hard work. That was a day and a half on that, on a 10 foot stretch of 300 mil concrete. Um, we thought we were at the bottom, but we've uh, reached bloody reinforcing. Did you put that on the bottom and then concrete it over it? I hope so. So yeah, we I hope that's the bottom. <sighs> We've got pipes that didn't go anywhere, a manhole in the uh, bottom of the slab, and now we've got reinforcing. When we're done, we'll find the, uh, the, treasure, the treasure chest. 
Right. We'll get back to you when we get through this. We'll um we'll just uh try and get it out as good as we can. Cause like that said we can't leave it in because it's not wide enough now with the new regulations. So gotta figure it out. So we'll see you in a bit. Drag that back now. This is all the crap to be taken away. We should push to this side for the grab wagon to reach over the fence. Got someone on the fence, got most of it over there. It's going to be a push to reach that, but Steve's a good driver. And there you go, we're down to Clay. I think we're about uh, 800 down there. Nice Clay. Jason just getting down the corner here. And we're pretty much done with the machine. There's, there's no room to, to manoeuvre it down. So it's going to be get the breaker on and get the rest of this out and then probably hand it the rest tomorrow. We're going to have to, going to, have to come back another day, even if it's just me and Alex. We'll have to see. So yeah, this, um, this didn't go as, as um, easy as we thought it would. But they really do. But good job we got a micro digger anyway. Never removed never the mini dig around. Steve's booked on for tomorrow, the grab wagon driver. I'm, I'm going to get a skip ready, get one ordered soon, because they're pretty handy. They're actually in the place where the skips come from, so not far away. And Alex is currently at the hospital, so we'll keep you posted how he gets on when he gets back. And then, once all this shite's gone, we can get the materials dropped straight over the fence again, all over there. So yeah, we'll just keep cracking on. We've got to have plenty of hard course. I'm not going to need to order much at all, this is all the shit to get taken away. That's going to get pushed over. Yeah, catch in a bit.
Right, 10 past 4 update. We're still not finished. No. On day 2. That side's finished, Jason's done well over there. And we are still trying to get this footing out. It is incredibly tough concrete with double reinforcing at the bottom, so thankfully it's not in the middle, but it's enough to hinder yeah. our progress. If you'd done it properly and put the reinforcing where it should have been, we'd never have got this out. No. It's actually easier than it could have been. And I'm st currently studying here, knocking it down. The building inspector's been out and had a look. He said it's wide enough, the ground's good, depth is good. He just wants a, a vertical damp putting in. He wants this thing. We're going to repair that. I'm going to put a piece of plastic into that to repair it. I'm going to put some concrete over the top of it. I'm going to knock the few, top few courses off this, probably down to about here. And then we're going to backfill it with stone. But this, this side's coming off. And we're going to have to... Um, shut it off or something maybe put maybe take it off maybe grind it i don't know but we're going to have to shut it because our brick work that's 325 so our brick our wall comes to the which is about 350 which means it's sitting on that wall so we need concrete out here so we're going to fettle that somehow but at the moment i've taken it to bits knocking it a bit of it down and then i'm going to prepare that in the morning we're just winding down now because we're going up for half past four because I've got done a good jobs tonight which I didn't look at last night so we'll um, carry on in time lapse and catch you later um, so yeah it's up to getting up to half four now so we'll um, wrap up in a minute and then we'll catch you tomorrow for hopefully the end of this dig see you uh, tomorrow Stop messing me! Stop messing me! Shut up! Set the shot up. Right, day three of our two-day job. Day three of our two-day job. See little look at our little pile. I think um, I think we've got a wagon load now. Yeah, it's only an L-shaped conservatory, soon have that down. Look at that. So this is all past. 650 wide for the extra wide walls. We've got an open end now for this, so it's, it's easier. It's not easy, it's easier. And we've got, brought the grinds to cut this, this reinforcing off so we can it's going to get easier once we pass this this is where it returns to the old foundation so once we pass that it's, it should be it should be easy to get out there's a bit more of the crap so yeah this, this should have been finished yesterday but obviously it's forced us all the way that's just ridiculous that and then we've got this weird manhole with no access and that's it the concrete's coming tomorrow sometime because we don't know what time we're going to get finished today skip's just arrived so anything left over can go in the skip we've managed to get one with the door on it which is good um, when the concrete was coming uh, 11 o'clock today mm. and then I remember we've got reinforced concrete to get out so yeah, that, uh, so today's plan is get the rest of that out, get it pegged out, ready for concrete. Grab wagon a little bit, bit of bean, then we pick the fairwoods, get the materials ordered, which will be delivered tomorrow with the concrete, and then we can do a bit of running around, like picking up insulation and stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, another, another, tough, another tough day ahead, but not as tough as the last two, I don't think. We've kitted out a bit more today. Yeah, we've got that. We've picked up some proper blades for this. Nice thin metal cutting. So that should go a bit through a bit quicker. Yeah, and then we'll cut them up and use them as pegs for the concrete. Workstation set up again. Oh yeah. And then all the, all the hardcore we dragged off, we're just going to reuse it. 
and then that's it for today we'll do a few time lapses and crack on thank you very much That is what? It's like about a million and a half foot. Oh, Monday, the 1st of June, 2023. Lovely. Well, just cut everything along the concrete line.
under here. It's that, isn't it? It's trapped under here. Is it? Oh, under here, right. I can feel it moving. Toss it over my shoulder. Let's toss it over my shoulder. That was close. Just step straight onto that. Yeah, I can break it up now, can't I? Of course, let's, let's bury bush it. Well, it's got a handle on it. I never lift that. Let's pick it up like a handbag. Oh, yeah. Get free. The blade, you've just got enough on the blade. That's it. Push it all the way forward, Jay. How small can we get it? <laughs> hey. Do you want me to get that?
forgot it had two. Wow. I forgot it had two layers. Three in some places. Yeah, which is hell. Yeah, I passed it actually. Passed it, yeah. Fucking beat right in the face of that wall, Alex. <laughs> okay. Alex, you're right in the face with it, will he? Aye. Ah, isn't that gay? No vibration when you're using it, that's the same. out finally that was the last piece that popped out that was hard work that was a day and a half on that on a 10 foot stretch of 300 mil concrete so just got to dig this out now level with the invert that pipe so a bit of a step in it won't be much but we're gonna have a break now it feels like we've accomplished something this morning been here half seven every day and we're on 20 to 10 now so i'm ready for a rest i can get out of bed this morning really done me in this so we'll catch off the break We can almost see the light at the end of the tunnel. We've uh, got this last bit, and then what, what, once we've got that bit leveled off, then we've got to go a bit further down to meet the return of the pipe, Invert. the inverse of the pipe. It's going to be the same level as the bottom of the pipe. Yeah. Even though it's inside a chamber. But um, the ground's like not not good anyway, so we need to go down either way. Obviously, it's not. Good. Obviously, it's not. They've not made it easy for us still. We've got a layer of what did you call it? Like um, that's just crushed crap. That. That's not clinker. It's not what I thought it was. Well, yeah, we've got a layer of tough stuff. Shitty backfill. Yeah. So you just can't get your spade through. Oh, yeah. Got the bar on it. We've got the breaker on it. We've got um, dumpster Jason dumping it, it. It's too hard for the um, spade. And when you get the breaker through, it just sinks Sticks right it. through. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Bear in mind, we're on day three and we're all done. What? So it's, it's hard work. Luckily, uh, there's no concrete today, so there's no pressure today. Almost was. Yeah, almost was. But concrete would have been here half an hour that ago. Ship has sailed. <laughs> right, let me get out of Chasen's way. Let me get out of your way. So, I'm yeah. That hole. So, we can almost see the end. <laughs> like, like Dad said, it's day three. We're knackered, everybody cooking in this sun. But we've got a soldier on. So concrete's due tomorrow now. We've got all day to get this ready. I will get you set up while I uh, just get these barriers back and forth. So yeah, see you. See you soon.
can see uh, we can see we can see the end. <laughs> so oh. we're digging any further down than that. A foot. A foot more. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's all look, it's all shite here. It's all backfill, so we can't leave that in. Yeah. And that's gotta come out. And then we should turn it off. Yeah, maybe you're saying that. And fill up with stone after I've repaired this pipe. I'm just gonna cut and case it with concrete. And then <coughs> First the day now, I said early dart. Yep, nine o'clock finish, Jason. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you set back up while we get this foot out and the bricks. And then depending on what time it is, we'll either set up the the pins, level. le the levels today or tomorrow. So we'll let you know. 